Welcome to your Filled with Grace meditation. I'm Erin Gray, and I teach people how to love themselves enough to heal and heal themselves enough to thrive. Have you ever counseled a friend or supported a friend and then an hour later felt exactly like them or maybe even worse? Or have been around a crowd of people and an hour later you find yourself exhausted or depleted or maybe even posted something online and an hour later you find yourself exhausted and depleted? This is the function of energy disruption and an energy drain that comes from our connections. And when we hold our energy vibration high enough, no one drains us. We covered that last week. I'm including a link down below to that meditation. But this week, we are talking about filling yourself with grace as an acronym and what to do preventatively before you go meet with that friend or before you go into that crowd of people or maybe if you're a speaker, before you go give a talk. Use this technique today and find that your energy remains preserved, dynamic, and that you don't take on other people's energy. All you do is bless the world with yours. So this technique is all about grace. And grace is the acronym that stands for ground, retract, attach, cover, and empty. And I'm going to talk you through every step of that, but that way you know what's coming. So we imagine and envision this beautiful aura around our body. And oftentimes when it is too far expanded, we take in everyone's energy and information, which leaves our energetic system overwrought, excessive, and often anxiety triggering. However, when we can use this technique today, it helps to draw in our aura and allows us to maintain this very healthy 18 inches around us. And an 18 inch aura around us is very healthy. It allows that energy to be fortified, but it also only allows the people that you choose to come into your energy space. So these are the people that you're willing to hug or wanting to hug or wanting near you. This doesn't let the neighbor next door <laughs> contribute to your energy. So we begin with G, grounding with gratitude. As I begin every single week, I always begin my meditations with gratitude. One, gratitude allows us and sets us up to be in a receptive energetic state. But I also think Mama Earth deserves that type of appreciation. So when we ground our energy and draw that energy cord down 90% of the way down toward the sun of the earth, I love to give gratitude to Mama Earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking what no longer serves me. Thank you for nourishing me. Thank you for the sun and the moon and the stars. As you know, if you've been following me week after week, this is how I begin every meditation with grounding and gratitude. R, retract. So we imagine our aura around us. And if you want to confirm how big your aura is, you can see the link down below. Simply by having someone walk up towards you, you can determine how big your aura is. But I like to imagine the little pulley lines like on a sailboat and that I clamp that line down as far out as my aura is. And then I draw that line in here to my center line. And then I drop that line down into the center of the earth, allowing this aura to be pulled in toward the right and healthy amount for you, given the situation. A, attach. This is where we drop that down 90% of the way. And then we invite Mama Earth to take that beautiful cord and attach it, integrate it and attach it here into the center of the earth as she sees fit. And to be honest, as I have shifted to this type of grounding, I have found my grounding practice to up level exponentially. So rather than pushing our way down all the way to mom earth, I find it's so much more respectful. And to be honest, I find it so much more even more grounding than I had before. So we invite Mama Earth up that last 10% to integrate and draw that energy all the way down into the center of the earth, grounding and nourishing us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. C, cover. I like to envision an energetic screen around me and I like the visual of the screen because it's permeable. 
We don't have to protect ourselves. When we are in elevated energy, we flow energy out and people are not a drain to us. But this allows us to feel the people who want to send us love. This allows us to flow energy back and forth, but just allows an intention. We can imagine this energetic cover to be the intention that we are setting around our body. So we set an emotional and energetic cover around us setting intention for who you are allowing in and what you are allowing out. And then finally, E, empty. So outside of that energetic screen, I like to place a bowl, particularly if I am consulting a friend or a client and someone really wants to empty their heart and share with me. The beautiful Thich Nhat Hanh would refer to this as allowing someone to empty their heart into a bowl. And often people just let them empty people's hearts onto them. And that is where we get exhausted and tired. And I don't want you to experience that the way I did decades ago. What I want for you to do is follow the grace technique and, and envision this beautiful screen around you with an empty bowl outside of your screen, inviting that person to share. They will feel connected. You will be able to connect even deeper because you are not taking on their emotion or their energy. Allow them to fill this bowl. And when they're done, you can then empty the bowl. Imagine a little fire down below, dumping all of that into a beautiful fire, allowing it to burn up so it does not harm anyone, you nor the person that has shared. And when you put this grace technique into place, you can enter into any conversation, any circumstance, and know that you will come out the other side empowered and strong and feeling connected and energized. Let me know down below how this was helpful for you. I would love to hear when you've put the grace technique into effect and how it was for you. If you found this helpful, thank you so much for liking and subscribing and sharing. And I will see you next week. Love yourself enough to heal. Heal yourself enough to thrive. Take care.